Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, squids and octopi, welcome back to Splatoon. We're here today for a tour of Inkopolis, which you guys requested, and a tour of why this game is god tier. I've been having so much fun with Splatoon, let me show you why. Welcome to where all the magic happens. I've got some time restrictions, so I'm gonna go fast, but this is your place. Get used to it, love it, like it, you're gonna spend a lot of time here come May 29. There's the amiibo corner, don't have any of those yet, but what I do have is a penchant for for shopping. Weaponry is purchased from this clam right here, and there is variety of plenty. You've got a lot of different guns that can be unlocked via single player progression, multiplayer progression, and good old coinage. Um, and it seems like there's quite a bit of variety, so I like where they're headed there. I've purchased quite a few of them. Uh, they each come with their own sub weapon and special weapon. Shoes, on the other hand, are a little bit more fancy of an affair, and they come with little perks. Now, they start with one predetermined perk, but through playing with that gear on in multiplayer, you'll unlock Unlock random other perks that can later be re-rolled via a special character. The clothing shop may be my favorite because this is where you get to pick the main piece of gear uh, that is visible. I like this basketball jersey. We will purchase it and put it on. It's weird that Nintendo has found a way to integrate all of these, what I would say, pretty hardcore systems into a very fun, bright, vibrant, joy-filled game. It's kind of awesome. If you don't feel like touring the shops via some quick button presses on the gamepad, you can walk there yourself. We'll go into the hat store. It exists right here in Inkopolis in this main town center and each shop is owned by a crazy critter. Uh, I like the charm of the game. There's no dialogue, but it's got like kind of that Banjo-Kazooie weird voice vibe uh, and that vibe carries itself into multiplayer which is all sorts of weird but also all sorts of awesome this is the main tower where you'll probably spend most of your time playing turf wars ranked battles and the rest one cool thing about this is the recon option where you can dive into the stages and check them out see what they're all about before actually playing competitively now there's only two stages available every four hours which is a bit of an odd choice but it gives you a chance to really perfect the maps you're playing i like to say multiplayer in this game is a combination of single player speed run challenges and a competitive multiplayer because you're working against the clock to cover as much turf as you can and gain as many points. At the same time, you're also trying to fend off opposing squid children as best you can. Now, there is a screen for you to look at all of your purchased gear, uh, which is right here. Each of them come with their perks and you can read about them uh, via the info panes and see what all you have. If you want to see more than just some writing about a weapon, you can go test it out for yourself in this weapon range. Uh, practice that's distance, practice it's damage even practice your special moves. So here we've got the Inkzuka, uh, which is a special weapon that was not shown in the beta, and it looks like this, firing massive tornadoes, or really kind of like mini tornadoes, at your opponents, uh, whether they be purple, inflatable, octopi things, squid things, or not. You could leave, but let's stay and test out everybody's beloved roller. This was a concern in the beta, and I gotta say, I think it is a very good weapon, but more of a beginner weapon. I found myself continuously scoring atop the leaderboard with guns, not with the roller, even though a lot of people in my matches in multiplayer have been using the roller. Let me say that the maps in the full game are insanely good. I can't wait to show you some more multiplayer. I feel like the ones in the beta were maybe the simplest of them all. Now, here is where the single player resides. We'll say hello through the load screen, which aren't that long, actually. Two Captain Cuttlefish on the right-hand side, the crazy commander of yesteryear who leads us through uh, these micro-levels. It borrows a lot from Mario Galaxy, I feel, in the sense that each level is a contained set of mini-platforms uh, that link together to form one puzzle-rific level. Uh, you can transfer between worlds via these lovely ink grind rails and see a whole bunch of the different stuff I've unlocked. There's a whole uh, variety of different kinds of levels, whether they be fighting um, Octarians that have transformed into people, whether they be puzzle solving, whether they be fighting bosses or seeking out whatever this gigantic creepy UFO is that resides in the sky. Now over here, as we move to the last building uh, in Inkopolis, is where you'll find your 1v1 offline battles. I haven't had a chance to do the battle dojo yet, but I'm looking forward to it soon. This is the balloon popping score challenge head-to-head -head mode uh, that provides you with some offline fun for you and your couch co-op friend. All in all, I freaking adore Splatoon thus far. Like Riley says, I've been loving my time with this game and I don't want people to get turned off just because it has a pretty goofy exterior. I promise you that the underlying mechanics are very sound and the game is pretty chock full of content. Whether you are going to beat your own high score and fight off your friends in multiplayer, whether you're looking to explore the creative uses of ink in the single player, whether you're shopping till you drop and upgrading your character, min-maxing your perks in the stores around Inkopolis, whether you are playing head-to-head -head against somebody who doesn't have their own Wii U, 
I think this is going to end up being one of the best games of 2015, and you definitely are going to get $60 worth here. Don't worry about the limited number of modes. Don't worry about the fact that this squid girl is wearing a beanie and a basketball jersey. This game rocks, and I hope you can see why. Let me know what you want to see more of in the comments below. I'll bring it your way. Until next time, drink some ink. Thanks again. We will see you all later.